Welcome back everyone to the Factory SBR YouTube channel. We are down here in turn four and three and we're standing on top of the infield tractor tire per usual. And I think Tanner, this is gonna be the occurrence tonight. I think I'm gonna be on the infield a good amount here. Like me and you both agree, and I think you said it a little bit earlier, this track reminds you of what, a uh, Midwest track? Yeah, this place makes it feel like you're directly in the Midwest. It's just something about the vibe here, not only the nice facility, but the racetrack. It's wide, slick, and smooth. It doesn't typically get rough, uh, but throughout the night, you know, it starts out with some grip and then gets right up towards the fence. So it almost feels like we're maybe in Ohio, Kansas, yeah. I don't know, we're not necessarily in Oregon, but this is one of our, you know, most top-notch facility. Absolutely, like you had just said there, this facility is so cool and clean. The grandstand area I think Tanner said packs around a thousand people it's super organized the infield is super clean they used to have an outlaw cart track there in the middle and this place I think is similar to Wayne's Field in the sense yeah. of it's not like anything too crazy it's just simple clean it's yep. everything you need in a dirt track facility and it's got a great wall with the catch fence it's very organized all the way around it as you'll see right here But I think that's gonna be the main story for tonight. I'm gonna to be down here in between turns three and four. Hopefully we get some cool shots. You know, someone wads it up or maybe some of the Hornet guys get a little dicey because I think if you recall back in, what was it? 2018. 2018, me and Tanner were standing over there in the uh, pit grandstands and these Hornets hit the slick, smoked the wall as one of the coolest clips that we had seen since. But uh, anyways, hopefully tonight's action packed. Oh, let's get after it. So a couple hours prior, they were grading the track and it was dusty, dry, no water beneath it. And now they have the top completely rolled in and they're watering it, but it looks like there's no water. Like it's so hot, it just goes to dust after a couple minutes. And then the bottom is not rolled in yet and it's got a ton of water. So how this track's gonna play out tonight, I have no idea, but we are down here on the infield and I just moved this tire to put in the shade so I could sit. I think we pissed off some wasps, so that's no bueno. I'm gonna stand over here in the shade for a little bit. I ain't going over there because I don't wanna get stung. And uh, it's always weird, like I get nervous when I have to cross a track in between like a certain time frame because we have a GoPro backstretch uh, cam tonight that we're gonna put on or turn on for qualifying and uh, I, it's, it's simple, it's right across the track, I just gotta turn it on. But like, I don't know, I always get stressed, like is there gonna be enough time in between when the first car comes on for qualifying, will I have enough time to go over there? I don't know, it's just stuff that runs through my head, it's probably dumb, I always have enough time, but uh, the fans are coming in here tonight and uh, we got a decent little crowd going. It's a nice cool breeze and it's about 85 degrees here at Will Lamont Speedway. So tonight should be fun. This track looks, I don't even know what to say, but uh, hopefully it turns out good. We are pissed. You see those little buggers right there? So right now we got single car qualifying. underway here and we have the backstretch cam going so we did get it fired off uh, three cars have gone out so far and uh, here comes Brian Boswell a local up here in Oregon I'm not sure where Tanner goes out but hopefully the backstretch cam stays clean no mud on the lens and we get some cool panos of him coming around with my camera here So that concluded qualifying. I think Tanner wrapped it up and brought her home fourth, which I think is kind of similar to last night. I kind of already forgot, my bad. But uh, I am uploading the backstretch cam footage right now to check it out. Sadly, for the final 20, or no, the final 12 minutes of it, there was dirt on the screen. So shoot, I hope we got some good clips of Tanner without the dirt and maybe some other drivers. But uh, you can see right here, it is uploading. 
straight to my phone and then right after that I will download some of the pictures just because I like to look at the content now so I can know uh, you know what else do I need to get later on in the night but anyways that is gonna upload and uh, that was pretty cool I think I'm gonna go back in there for the heat races and uh, should be fun well, we are getting ready to roll for the heat races. Tanner is in heat race number one. There he is right there. Carly just pushed him out. And I uh, got a chance to look over the footage. We got a total of one car with the clear screen and then the rest of the 23 minutes are uh, all dirty. So you can still see the cars coming down the back stretch, so I'll probably throw in a few of those clips. It's still not as good as the clear, clean thing, but hey, I think I'm gonna try to implement that at most tracks we go to if it, uh, you know, if I think it will work good and it's in a safe location. This track was pretty dry, so the odds of that happening were pretty low, but you know what? Sometimes that's what happens. It's like going to the casino. Uh, the odds are never in your favor. Sometimes they are. It's like going to the casino. You take a gamble, and you'll, you're most likely going to lose if you don't know what you're doing. So it's what it is. Anyways, we're getting ready for the heat races. Let's watch some sprint car action here. night we pulled a good one tonight we did not trade uh, the, the young one that was with me didn't want to trade so I trusted him we ended up getting the six at least we're on the outside no worries I feel like our race car is really really good and as we kind of joked about before this is kind of a test right now we get five more laps on the track see what it does try to make our race car better for the feature no matter where we start in the top six if we have a good enough car we should be able to win the a track position obviously does help though so get all strapped in here and then we got five laps coming up for the dash so Tanner had just pulled the six there. Uh, actually, I should say the little one helping him had the six. He kept it, and uh, that is what we got. So we're starting sixth in this one, five laps on tap. Hopefully we can work our way forward and get a decent starting spot for the feature tonight. This is the dash. the dash I think we brought her home I believe fourth or somewhere in there fourth or fifth the track is slick everyone is itching for grip on the back stretch They're actually smoking the wall trying to get up there in the grip so this track looks pretty racy right now hopefully it does not take rubber it stays slick and it keeps working its way up should be a good night for racing the cars are rolled out here we're gonna get ready to go ahead and fire them the sunset here at Willamette is beautiful this is a perfect night of racing it's not too late and uh, hopefully we can wrap this up meet all the fans and then head north to Banks which is about an hour and a half away and uh, be there at a decent hour tonight so we can have a good night rest and get ready for tomorrow
did not catch that on camera, but I believe Matt Heim went over on his lid right in the front of the front stretch, actually, in front of the crowd. And uh, the back stretch is getting pretty treacherous. They're all just floating up to the wall trying to get as much grip as possible. But anyways, I believe Tanner was up to third at that point, but I think it reverts. So he will be back and forth anyways. It looks like he's moving forward. So far, so good. The race is pretty good, actually. It's kind of single file, but when he gets into traffic, it gets dicey. Of at the end. I felt like I was really good up until maybe lap 15 and then it just kind of my line faded I think and their line got better so yeah. So Tanner started fifth, brought her home third. We got a podium on Speed Week here in the 360. We're inching closer and closer every race. Hopefully we can get one done tomorrow at Banks. This was a pretty cool track tonight. It got slick all the way up to the grip, so uh, it rubbered down there right at the end. But hey, I thought this surface was pretty cool and it was pretty racy. So the line Tanner had gotten, which propelled him from fifth all the way up to third, was that, as you saw just right there, now it's really slick getting into the corner, and you could slide it, and that's what he would do, slide it all the way up, almost to the entrance of four, and hit this grip right here, and then shoot him off down into the rubber on the bottom of the exit, but, you know, trying to get in on the top all the way around, then to the it was just too long around, and you were just spinning your tires. It did get abrasive there right at the end, like I had said, but the track surface tonight was pretty good for the majority of the race and watching lap traffic work with the leaders uh, that gets pretty dicey but anyways we're gonna head up north about an hour and a half to Banks Oregon I'm super excited to go to Banks I personally think it's one of my favorite tracks and I cannot wait to race the dwarf car there but with that said my name is Benny Gooch and just because it's a ship box don't mean it ain't fast it's been fun doing these vlogs I hope you guys like this daily vlog style and thank you guys for the likes the comments the shares everything it means a lot to me and it and it propels me to keep doing what I'm doing this is a lot of fun We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Thanks. See ya.